Hello, today's video is on stock number 37619MI, the battery low uh, voltage disconnect, keep you from over discharging your batteries. I uh, well, thought I'd make a quick video showing you how the little how it works, what the little programming. There's, there's four different programs you, you go through two, the two buttons. It can be a little tricky, but uh, I'll see if we can walk you through it. Uh, first thing is it's designed for 12 to 36 volt batteries. Uh, the relay is rated at uh, 20 amps max. Uh, let's see, this is your input. Uh, polarity is marked on the board, so be sure you get the polarity in uh, correctly. Uh, the, the voltage in is the voltage out. So right now I have a little 12 volt LED light hooked up to just give you a visual. Uh, you also have a little LED on the, on the board so you know when the, the relay is, is active. Uh, obviously you got the display. Uh, it comes from the factory set to turn off at 12 volts DC and turn back on at 14 volts DC, uh, 2 volt hysteresis. I'll, I'll show you how to change that. And also it comes with a, a zero, right now it comes with a factory set at zero minute delay. I'll show you how to set the delay if you want that function. First, uh, you have the two buttons. Very hard to see at this angle, but at the top of it there's a plus and there's a minus. So if you were just to do a quick press on the plus button, you see 12 volts, that's where it, uh, and, and after a few seconds it goes back to program mode. So let's press it too quick, and when you see that little dot flashing there, you can change that. Now if you want your battery to turn off at 12.6 volts, leave it alone for a few seconds, it goes back to the solid. So now if we were, in, I have a bench top power supply off stage here, so just so you can see it. We don't have to spend all the time waiting for a battery to discharge. So. As it turns down, it should turn off at 12.6. There it turns off. Now, because of the 2 volt hysteresis, it should turn back on at 14.6. Okay, there we go. Now, next button, uh, on the same button, if you press and hold, this is the, this is the you can actually set a calibration uh, if it's not accurate. If you have voltage drop over a distance, you can change what the actual display is, the actual display voltage. Leave it alone for a few seconds, and it goes back. So now it's, it's, it's at a higher, still shuts off at 12.6. That's just simply for calibration. All right, let's play with the other button. Quick press. You see it's two, that's the two volt hysteresis. After a few seconds, it goes right back. So press, two quick presses, two quick presses, and now the little display is starting to flash. Now you can change that. If you only want a one volt. All right, leave that alone for a second. And it'll go back to display mode automatically. Now as it drops down to our 12.6, turns off. Now it should turn back on at 13.6. Alright, and then the last mode is the time mode. Now this is whenever it shuts down, you can have it not turn back on once it gets back to the acceptable range for up to, it says 10 minutes, but I actually played with it and was it, it, it set and went up to 60 minutes. But uh, that's what the factory says, 10 minutes, so we're going to stick with 10 minutes. Press. Nope. Change that again, haha. -ha. Sometimes our program can be a little tricky, so you got to be patient. See if you press and hold. Oh, have to let it go back to a full. There we go. Press and hold. Okay. When you see that in a little little flashing there, you could. This is your delay time. Uh, you can run it. It says up. It says 10 minutes, but I've run run it up to 60 minutes and tried it. It does work. So let's just, for sake of the video, just stick to one minute. All right. This is a one minute delay from when it goes when it shuts down and it goes one minute from the time when it goes back up to its acceptable voltage. Okay, now 12.6 turns off. Back up to 13.6. Now at this point, they they will not allow it to reconnect for one minute. It's counting down. Oh, should have brought a timer. But uh, while we're waiting for it, you can see the size of it. These are one inch squares, so it's about two and a quarter inches long by about inch and five eighths tall. Let's see, accuracy, 
1.1 volt power consumption supposed to be under 1.5 watt and one minute seems to take a long longer than you think faster 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 but it is only one minute resolution if you want the delay there's there's, there's that's nothing finer than that There we go. One minute. Turns it back on until, like I say, it goes. It, it retains all the settings in memory if you remove power. Uh, I think that covers most of the programming on it. You have any questions? Let us know. Thank you for watching the video.